Hello guys, TKGC here. For your comfortable Lost Ark life, in this video, I'd like to cover or recap the recent live stream for your Lost Ark journey. As the last guy was curious about recent news on KL, so I thought it'd be great to share some of those infos for your Lost Ark journey. Now follow me, I'll show you what you need. Before I start this video, one thing you gotta know, this video is about the updates and notice from the KL server. And especially, this video is about the future directions of the KL server and maybe the whole Lost Ark game, as the KL server is quite ahead of the updates and most of the policy. Also, I've excluded some of the contents that relate to the censorships in the previous version because I thought it'll be not that much concern with the global server right now. Maybe it's not that matters with the global server too. So watch this video with this consideration and use this video as your reference to your Lost Ark journey. Before the stream, our KL community was on fire. After the bad communication twice in Loaon and Emergency Stream, most of the KL community players got disappointed and some of them would decide to leave the game and try to settle down in other more fascinating games. Maybe the disappointment was I think it was more than my thought. And above all, most of the KL players was doubt about the future of the Lost Ark itself. More like, you know, sometimes you dream something with the game itself, right? Something's gotta be fun, something's gotta be more different. I mean, more better ways. Most of us was expect that. But instead, we got same repetitive task like daily, weekly. Most of you guys we called as homework. Which, without any improvements. So we felt like maybe lost all of his expectations. More like the closest friend turned against us, it has more bigger disappointment, right? So most of the players felt that way. Game doesn't give us improvements and just say to us, keep calm and wait. Players who are tired at waiting started to act and decide to leave a game. And I think those this kind of the user was seems very significant. So the Lost Ark called the former director, Kim Bang Sun, to a live stream again. In KL, right now, we had no updates until the Super Mokoko Express was updated. Kind of a very long no updates. We didn't have an update almost more than a month. So everybody was concerned about the new updates and felt a little suspicious about the long delays and no updates. But not actually they used the KL dev team in the first place. They draw out and use some of the KL dev team after they got the service copyright in the regions. The request was too much for the overall Rife service team to handle. So some of the service team in the KL, mostly graphic teams, was work for the overall service. So Kim Gang Sun was made clear about this delay rumors in the KL community and apologized about the using main server service personnel. But as he said in the live stream, the postponements of the main contents like Fair Mine was not true. Actually, there was a lot of pressure on the dev team in the mobile battle of the second gates and the quality of the fourth gate, which is the main gates. It was originally scheduled to come out at the end of the August, but it was delayed by two weeks. But this is not related to the broad service. Also the graphical issues was occurred after the Super Mokoko Express, but this is not also a truth. The graphic matters is not currently engaging in overseas service related works because it was all wrapped up in May. But he promised not to affect KL service at the from now and in the future. Also, if you wish to know more about the KL graphical issues, try to check the bookmark rise out of this video. Also, the Kim Gang Sun made a comments about the vacant seat of general director. The reason why he didn't show up in the stream is that he thought it is not too polite to the senior team leader for fixing their own mistakes. He thought establishing and sell down the system of the three senior team leaders was the priorities. Also, the general director needs some more times, but he promised the general director will not be vacant in the future too. He said he will put a person in the general director on this fifth anniversary this year. November. And before the November, until he settled down the general director, he will be in charge of general director for temporary and lead the team again. Also in this live, live Q&A was also done in this stream. Maybe the main part of the Q&A I think, Lost Ark is mostly consistent with the homework contents, right? So more like repetitive contents, reset in the reset day, and do the thing again, progress, reset, right? And above all, we have a heavy daily contents, Chaos Dungeon twice, Guardian Raid twice every day. Dailies might be great in the first time, but as the time goes on, it's quite tired and boring, right? Kim Gang Sun also made a comment about this part too. Most of the requests about the Chaos Dungeon was reducing the Chaos Dungeon once per daily, 
but he thinks that is not a core problem of these matters. He think most of the players think the chaos dungeons are twice melee cycle, don't drop some necessary items, and players got annoyed because the monsters are far away. So for now, they are considering adjustments of location and deployments of the monster inside of the dungeons. And these matters will be dealt and almost modified immediately. However, he is considering toning it down to Guardian Rate, Tired Desper Daily. So they are considering adjustments on Guardian Rate like 3 times per weekly. And he said he is fully understanding about 3 contents released per year. As he said, each game has different ecosystems. In our case, they are advantage, but contents must come out quickly to maintain these advantage. But they are still considering about the continuous on making a new vertical contents. In other words, they are considering the vertical contents that between the region rate by rate. Also, there is a problem that you can actually feel the differences from your actual power up, more like there is no place or rate you could really feel your strength. So they will try to make the players to feel more better on their progressions. And also, they are checking the Hell or maybe Inferno modes and Guardian Trial is still a valid positioning. They could remove the challenge factors and put it up to higher contents positioning. Oh, and one more thing, the limits of the weekly and end contents, he promised to explain with detailed indicators later on the future stream. Also, he made a comments about the various contents too. First about the hot deal shops that actually community opinion became like, are they really know about the game? The incident they sold a stone with the actual money. And the mechanism changes on Brawl Gate 6, like you need to wait for the bit for the bit or thing, right? This thing also can be adjusted or modified better. Also, he mentioned about the new continent called Arok, which the reverse of Korea. This continent also will be released later, but they will gonna discuss about this matter too. And of course, a lot of controversies and debates was mentioned on this stream too. Like the Entropy said, Third Awakening, an appropriate event that fits your Acacia walls. But one thing is sure, still, we need to wait. After this big apology stream, I think community opinion was a little got better. But still, community got divided into two opinions like Let's trust him and let's wait And the guy is still Still nothing was changed Those opinions are quite right Nothing was changed But I think it'll be better, I think Kim gang -sat got better leaderships and know how to listen and communicate with the players I think the game will be better, I hope But still, as I mentioned, nothing was changed But still, I really don't know why I'm really anticipating about the new upcoming class, Soul Leader I really don't know Maybe I'm still loving this game. Or maybe still, I didn't made up my mind yet. As I am the guy that actually lets wait guys, I think, yep, I'll wait, but let's hope, not that late. But one positive thing I think is that Kim Gang Sun was actually show us the future roadmap of the Lost Ark game itself. Many of the players was really wondered about the future of the game and its directions. Most of the guys was actually confused about what are these guys really want to show us? Or what are they doing right now? Partially, I think, that thirst is a little bit solved, I think. But as I keep mentioned, I hope it's not too late for that future. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone, and always thanks for your big support. Hope this video was a little helped for your Lost Ark journey. And of course, if you like my videos, hit the sub for more coming infos. I'll come back with more useful infos in the next video.